Um, I'd like to say something before we go. Is something the matter? I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? It's about Lloyd. I've been thinking. What if all of these terrible things I've been blaming on Lloyd were actually done by his imposter? Emil! I don't know. Maybe this is the only time it's his imposter. Of course, it could turn out that the real Lloyd is responsible for this. But every time I hear one of Lloyd's friends talk about him, it's hard to believe he's the same person who did all of those terrible things. So... I appreciate what you're trying to say, but we have no idea what the truth is. Yes, I know. It's just, I finally realized I can't jump to conclusions when there's so much doubt about what's happened. That's why I wanted to say I'm sorry. Then let's call a truce. When you gave me the evil eye, I pegged you as just some punk. But now that I've gotten to know you, you're a pretty decent kid. Zelos, you don't have to talk like that. It was probably a meal in Ratatosk mode that gave you the evil eye. Indeed. It seems that Emil gets a bit abrasive when he enters this so-called Ratatosk mode. Stop it! Stop talking about the other Emil like that! That Emil is Emil too, and he's doing the best he can! So please stop talking about him like this! Ah, right. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm afraid I went too far as well. I'm sorry, Emil. No, I'm fine. Well, moving on. I think it's about time we left. Sorry to rush you all, but I'm worried about Salus. Yes, I'm sorry for delaying. Let's get moving. Damn them. I don't care if they're the vanguard or what. Anybody who even looks at Celis the wrong way is gonna answer to me. After I string them up by their necks from the summit of Mount Fuji, I'll tie them to a sack of bricks and dump them into Flanor Harbor. Wow, Regal and Sheena weren't kidding. Yeah. What did they say? They said you cared a lot about your sister. That you'd never forgive anybody who hurt her. Essentially, they said you seem to have a thing for your sister. Regal, Sheena, come here a sec. No, that's not what we meant. Tenebrae! <laughs> Oh, why, hello, Miss Jubilees. I see you're keeping that sumptuous body of yours in top shape. Say it again and I'll smack you. Ow! You always warn me after you do it. Nice to see you haven't changed, Sheena. Nice to see you still can't have a conversation without slobbering over breasts. The Chosen's personality is the picture of constancy. You haven't changed a bit yourself, Duke Bryant. Chosen, we just saw each other the other day at the salon of Countess Rattenmeyer. He was checking out her voluptuous, aristocratic curves, no doubt. What's that, Sheena? Do I detect a note of jealousy? What? It's almost as if they'd never been apart. I expected the Vanguard's base to be better guarded than this. No kidding. Hey Marta, you know this place, right? Is there a place where they could imprison someone they've kidnapped? I've heard about this base, but I've never actually been here, so it's hard to say. I see. Looks like we'll just have to search the place inside out. Oh well, let's go. Yes. So this is the Vanguard's base. Man, what a total dump. Making it ornate would serve little purpose. But what kind of scum locks a guy's poor sister up in a diseased rat hole like this? You were expecting one of those immaculate, luxurious, revolutionary soldier camps? A little of you goes a long way, Tenny. 
I might say the same thing about you, sir. You, you got, got that, that right. right. Come on, guys, where's the love? I hope Celis is okay. If she's not, I'll make sure the Vanguard pays with their lives. I'm sorry. I wish I could say it's fine, don't worry about it, but I can't. Zelos, don't you think that's a little harsh? Sheena, behind you! Huh? Sheena, look out! No sweat. Huh? You gotta be kidding me! What? Again? What a klutz. <laughs> I'll go look for her. You all keep looking for Celis. Right. Good luck, Regal. Sheena was an assassin, right? What's she doing falling into a low-tech trap like that? From what we've heard, she struggled with this a bit in your previous journey as well. And this isn't the first time it's happened on this trip either. For real? Yeah, which reminds me. I've seen more pitfalls on this one trip than I have in my entire life. <sighs> I'm worried about Celis, but I really hope Sheena's okay too. I know. Why do bad things always happen in pairs? How about you, Marta? Are you doing okay? Huh? I mean, everything that's happened with the Vanguard lately. It's hard to believe I used to be in a group that would do all this. But you're not in it anymore. You're with us now. Yeah. Thanks, Emil. Ta-da! Feast your eyes on this. Come sample my one-of-a-kind gourmet cuisine. Whoa, look at it all. Everything from appetizers to dessert. I had no idea you were such a talented cook. Well, what did you expect? High-class men have high-class tastes. This is great. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Not so fast. Your seat's over there. Over there? But there's only bread and water over there. And what's wrong with that? Bread is quite a luxury. And I'm such a gentleman, I even arrange for sparkling water. No need to be polite. Eat as much as you like. Marta, dear, step right this way. Isn't this taking the whole chivalry thing a little too far? First Celis is abducted, then my bud gets impersonated, and now Sheena falls through a trap door. Why do things like this keep happening around me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Why are you two sorry? Um, well... Come on, now you're making me feel like the bad guy here. Cheer up, lose those pitiful depressing faces. It's all our fault. If not for us, Celis would be safe. If you really want to help, the best thing you can do is focus on the task at hand. None of your apologies are going to bring us any closer to saving Celis. Right. I'm sorry. Enough. I just want to save my sister. That's all. Making you two miserable is not my style. You understand? Yes. We'll save Celis. There, that's the spirit. You are much kinder than one would expect. What? How can you gaze upon this beautiful face and this graceful figure and ever think otherwise? Ah, uh, you'll have to excuse me. It would appear the standards of beauty between monsters and humans differ greatly. You might make a nice piece of steak. So fill me in. How is dragging this tyke around with us gonna help us rescue Celis? Hey! No, I don't mean you, Marta, sweetie. I was talking about our little daydreamer over here. Sorry. I don't know how you can be such a limp noodle with this lovely little lady fawning all over you like she does. Hey, I won't let you talk about my night like that. Whoa, kid, for a dim bulb, you sure put the moves on quick. No, it's not like that. It, it's not? Wait, I mean, huh? Ah, there's nothing like young love. <laughs>